brand new to crypto and don't know where to start, I got you. One of the most common questions I get on all of my social media platforms is, Wendy, I'm brand new to crypto, what do I do? And if you're brand new to my channel, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, set alerts, and thank you for watching. So where should you start? Crypto is very hard to understand because it's very tech heavy, but at the same time, it can provide a lot of life-changing opportunities. So the place I like to recommend people to start is with Bitcoin, always with Bitcoin. Learn about Bitcoin, read the white paper, understand what it means. And if you feel like investing, if it's something that makes sense with you and your ethos, do what works for you. And don't just start trading because if you're not somebody who's an experienced trader and then you get into altcoins or you wanna start trading crypto or Bitcoin, you're gonna get absolutely wrecked, okay? You're gonna get wrecked, so just be cautious. The most popular thing or way for people to invest is by dollar cost averaging, and that means DCA dollar cost averaging. It basically means you so let's say you have $20 of disposable income. Um, you want to buy $20 worth of Bitcoin every Friday at 1 p.m. It's basically kind of like investing in a 401k when your employer automatically removes money from your check, etc. That's generally the safest thing for most people. And as far as crypto exchanges to use, you're going to have to do your due diligence on that. One of the favorites is Coinbase, which I'm not endorsing, but a lot of people like to use Coinbase. Okay. And then Cold storage. Cold storage is also something that you're going to need to learn how to use. And again, with cold storage, be careful. Don't rush into it. Understand the risks of cold storage, but also understand the rewards. Because to Bitcoin and to crypto means you get to fully own your assets. And part of that is managing your seed phrase. And then a lot of people will talk about altcoins. I'm an investor in altcoins. I like altcoins. And there's different risks, risk tolerances for altcoins. And that basically means... Um, the chance of you losing your money with altcoins is a lot higher than with traditional finance or with Bitcoin, okay? So if you're somebody that doesn't know how to trade, you're not tech savvy, but you wanna participate in crypto, consider starting with Bitcoin. And it's always been the first crypto asset that we talk about on the channel. And really that's what inspired me to get into crypto because if you begin to start trading um, crypto and these different altcoins, you have no idea what you're doing, you're gonna lose money. And the tr whole reason why you're here is to improve your quality of life for you and your family, okay? Another tip and trick I wanna give you guys, do not give random people on the internet money. Don't send them your personal information, okay? Always verify sources before you do anything. Don't get in DMs with people. And if you're somebody that doesn't know where to start with Bitcoin, Dame.io, they're on my website. They're licensed and regulated financial advisors. They can help you kind of guide you through that process with customized crypto and Bitcoin portfolios. I don't do that. I'm a shock chalk. I'm here just for entertainment and giving my opinion. But again, start with Bitcoin and also Investopedia is free. 10 minutes a day to keep the doctor away. Thank you for watching.